Alright, what's up people? This is Sif Urian, and right now we're going to be checking out episode 8 of Westworld. It's called Trace Decay. We are so close to the end of this season. Two more episodes. The storyline is getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And of course, there's, there's a lot more questions than we've got answers so far. <laughs> I really hope we get a few answers by the end of this season. Or they could possibly just leave a lot of things up in the air keeps you guessing until the next season so i'm very eager to check this out before we jump in very very quick little recap from what happened last week first and foremost bernard is synthetic that that was a bit of a shock but at the same time like, like i said it in like the first fucking episode i said that um robots building robots like how funny would it be if it turns out that they're all fucking synthetic <laughs> but bernard now is definitely synthetic uh, he killed Teresa. The question is, though, in, in the room when he did it, it looked like Ford was building, like, another another robot. So it's like, who was he building? Could it be, like, a Teresa replicant because the board would start asking questions if, if she suddenly disappears? That could be a thing. Plus that woman as well, Elise, is it? She's still missing. Oh, and um, one thing I want to kind of bring up quick. While editing the last episode, I noticed uh, the comments about the blood sacrifice. First off, it was that woman, um, Charlotte, is it? She said it to Teresa. And then later on, Ford said the same thing to her. So it's like, when Charlotte said it, did Charlotte kind of refer to her being the blood sacrifice? If it's not a coincidence, then it means that Charlotte is working with Ford in some way. Maybe to find out who can be trusted and who can't be trusted. But it does kind of seem like Charlotte is kind of the one behind the whole kind of saboteur of getting the information out the park and everything. So, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, there's a lot more questions now. <laughs> the other point that I want to make is about when um, Charlotte was talking to Teresa and she said about how um, we need to show how dangerous force creations can be. I still honestly think they were talking about Maeve. You know, someone has been tweaking and playing around with the attributes and, and it's, it's got to be someone high up. It's got to be somebody high up. You know, I, I think her rebelling, it could be Arnold and, and everything that's kind of happening with Dolores. Like Maeve could be like another side of that coin, but it could be, I don't know. I've just got this feeling like it's a, it's a bit of like a setup. Like, she thinks she's doing it on the back of her own, like, free will. But really, that's, that's just the way that she was programmed to. If you see what I'm saying, it's, it's completely a setup. But yeah, we're going to get into this episode. It's called Trace of Decay. From the title, I, it could be... It could probably refer to Dolores. How, like, things are starting to decay and she's waking up more. Or maybe there's others. Maybe it, it shows that, like, others are starting to kind of wake up and... This is kind of like the beginning of the end. The park's starting to fall apart. You know what I mean? We're going to get into this episode, so let's do this, man. Bring yourself back online, Bernard. Oh, Bernard. <laughs> I can't. Oh, man. What have I done? What have I done? The guilt you feel, the anguish, the horror, the pain. It's remarkable. Oh, my God. So who's being made there? I will not help you. I'll raise this place to hell. That's enough, Bernard. That's enough. Oof. I don't need a simulacrum of an emotionally ruined man. I need you to be yourself, your true self, smart, resourceful, capable wow. of covering your tracks. Two shots of gin. And anything else this heavenly creature desires. Usual, Clint? Thank you. Oh, wow. That's fine. won't take me long. I'll be back directly. Oh, wow. They just fucking replaced her. <laughs> oh, fuck. Whatever. You don't know anything about the world out there. Oh, no. I'm not a puppet living a lie. That's enough for me. Fine. Go then. It's not like we could stop you anyway. Oh, Sylvester, you disappoint me. 
Every host's spine, mine included, has an explosive charge which will detonate if I try to leave. Isn't that right? A fail safe. Which vertebra was it? C6. But you need a, a full rebuild to replace it. I'm sure that can be arranged. Even if that worked, you would still need an army to break out of here. That's exactly right. I'll need allies. Oh, shit. And to get them, I'll need administrative privileges. I said it then, I others are going to start waking up. The trace of decay, they're all going to start waking up now because of her fucking with them. The park's going to turn into shit, man. <laughs> Water. William. Uh, uh, William. Why did he hesitate? How'd you know about the train? Word for right. New recruit told him a man and a woman double crossed us. We were ordered to kill you all. Fucking Logan, I bet Logan. you. Yeah. We have to help him. He just admitted he was going to kill us. Look at him, he's a child. He's going to do something, isn't he? Come find me. Sounded like she said, come find me. Okay, I thought William had killed him. Choked him out or something. He's gone. We found her up on Python Pass, the bottom of a river. Oof. Same ravine where we found our stray woodcutter. Teresa may have been trying to use the woodcutter as a mule, and when that failed, they may have tried to do the transfer personally. And suffered the same fate. It's a disappointing end to her story, isn't it? I knew Teresa well. If she had any faults, a lack of loyalty wasn't one of them. See, I reckon Ford knows, man. I reckon Ford knows it's her. It seems yesterday's demonstration was a hoax designed by Miss Cullen. Was it? I examined the code, it had been altered. A clumsy set of fingerprints left by one of QA's technicians. <laughs> <laughs> but with Bernard's help, I should be able to do it. He will be reinstated as head of behavior now that Teresa's manipulations have come to light. Of course, with my apologies. <laughs> Forward the puppet master. All right, we do this thing. Get her up to behavior. It's our only chance. You're gonna do it. Fuck no, no. Either she can hear what they're saying or she can kind of read their lips a little bit. Get her up there. Then we wipe her out. I reckon she knows. She knows what they're gonna try and do. You never understand the game is rigged. You're here to be the loser. Loser. You see, the house always wins. Ooh. Oh man, wait, is Teddy gonna start waking up now? <laughs> well, you can't remember shit, but you still managed to lead us to Wyatt's crew. The man himself must be close by. Actually, I did remember something. You. 
Oh shit. Teddy's waking up. They're all starting to wake up. <laughs> Fuck. Now she so knows. Best, best. She won't shut down, I'll bet you. She out? Good. Let's brick this bitch and get out of here. Oh, man. I bet she's pretending. Shame in life is to perish without purpose, which is why I always consume my victims fresh. Moist. I'm gonna try consume my victims moist. The fuck? Now, once more, with feeling. But I reckon, I reckon she's pretending to be out cold. She's seeing what's really being said and shit. You know what I mean? Rumor has it she wasn't the loyal company man she seemed. I hear she was smuggling secrets. Hold on. Teresa wasn't. Is that the big thing that fucking the man in black and fucking Teddy just took out? Name Wyatt. That isn't Wyatt. That's busy work. But happy <laughs> for you, Mr. Sizemore, I think that you are ready for a real job. So Ford's just been keeping him busy. <laughs> I like that. Was the least painful way she's ever got out. So we did it. You know, I saved your ass. You can't even say thank you. Jesus, fuck! What did you do? Precisely what I asked him to. You think I didn't know what you were going to do? Ah. Even at a 14, you were never a match for me. Would you like to know exactly what he did give me? Uh, something that would allow you to walk out of here and out of my life for good. Oh, we changed a little more than that. We've been tinkering with my core code. Let me show you. Oh shit! You said you wouldn't hurt anyone. Oh, darling. Just wait till I'm back up top practicing my other new talents. What the fuck? You might need him. What are you gonna do? Still. Ah. Oh. 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 Fucking hit him. Now, it's time to recruit my army. Okay. So is that Gizmo able to like heal real flesh? Or are they synthetic themselves? What the fuck? In fact, Maeve's Tao was in such excellent standing, she deserved a token of gratitude. How about a double round on me? Oh shit! Oh shit! So. Is she able to, like, actually manipulate other hosts? What in the fuck? Is this Maeve's doing? Has she planned this, or...? The Sheriff judged the riders to be upstanding, God-fearing citizens. No, like, this is what they do normally. They come into town and fuck shit up. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, she knew it was gonna happen, it was all timed and... Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, 
There ain't no grave can hold my body down. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. 